What's up guys, this is Captain Ross here, East Island Aquatics, and this is the Cobalt Aquatics Phantom Ultrasonic Air Pump. Now I decided to do a review on this for you because I've been using this product for a while, it's very good. Um, got it from Cobalt a while ago, I've been using it for about four months now, I wanted to make sure I got a good feel for it before I did a review for you guys, and gotta say I am very impressed. I'm gonna be uh, giving these away in an upcoming contest as a um, as well as with a bunch of other Cobalt products. They were nice enough to um, sponsor my contest that I'm going to have in the future and give some away for you guys, as well as giving you discounts and whatnot. So stay tuned for the rest of those videos. But today we got the Phantom Air Pump. Now a lot of people try to use all these different types of things for um, all these different types of air pumps to run their tanks. You got guppy breeding, you want a sponge filter, right? That's what a lot of people do. They get a whisper air pump, plug it in, run it. Now those are great, they're quiet, they're efficient, however if they're not sitting correctly they can roll over and make that loud vibrating noise and they just take up space. You gotta find a way to situate them on your stand and all that. This solves that problem for you. Cobalt is awesome for their innovative designs. They're always trying to find new ways to push the limits of aquarium keeping. Now this little guy here can work on aquariums 32 inches deep. So that's pretty much anything that that's going to run your 10 gallon perfectly. I would recommend these for 10 gallons like guppy breeding and whatnot. Now another thing with this guy, only 1.5 wattage, so you don't have to worry about that electric bill running up too high. But that's all the basic stuff, but let's get into the what makes this thing awesome. So first, size. So you may be wondering, where is it? Is it down on the bottom shelves? Is it, where is it taking up space? Nope, it actually sits right on the side. Got a handy dandy suction cup right here. Stick it on and you're good to go wherever you want to put it and I don't normally run this on this tank I was just kinda of using this as a showing because this tanks pretty cool looking so you can set it up however you want if you want this to just go straight down you can turn it and now you don't have to worry about the looping and the suck the tube bending over you can bend, have it down you can spin it however you want and the best part it is absolutely silent and I know Whisper and other uh, types will tell you they're silent and they are pretty quiet but this thing is absolutely silent you cannot hear it at all absolutely silent I've ran this on a beta tank for a while powered a little sponge filter couldn't even tell it was there I used a t uh, very short tube this is everything that comes with it the tube and the air stone and everything I used a short tube suction this under the bowl because I was fish thinning for someone they had a beta bowl or whatever I recommended a tank but they wanted a bowl so I suction this you know how the bowl comes down at the bottom I suctioned it under the bowl over to the side it wasn't sitting on it but it was under it to the side and you couldn't even really tell it was there because the pebbles and stuff and it was running a sponge filter perfectly it was great kept the tank pretty nice and you it didn't take up much space at all. Um, there's a discus breeder in my edition that I bought other things from him and stuff. He told me he loved this product because if he's going to be taking fish different places, let's say he's going to a convention and he's going to show fish, he'll use this thing and it's so quiet and small it doesn't take up a bunch of room. You don't have to worry about vibrating and hooking all over, going all over the place. He'll just suction it to a little piece of plastic or something in a box you will have it going into the bag or the containers with his fish in. It keeps his discus alive while he's going to conventions. So he uses it for that. I've used it for a lot of things. I've powered sponge filters. I've used it just to add some air into a tank. Always aerating. So yeah, there's a lot of different things this thing's good for. I mean, it's not like our, it's not a rocket. It's not like the, the newest and greatest, but... When it comes to something as simple as aerating a tank, Cobalt has taken it to the next level and created a great thing. Now, 
Of course, with these reviews, I always have to go over the pros and cons of the product. So, pro, just as a wrap up for some of you guys that want to skip to the end to get the quick summary. Pro number one, super quiet. Con number one, I feel like the air tube they sent is quite flimsy. So, like, if you have it up like that, sometimes it likes to bend over and then you get small. You get stuff like that. But that can always be fixed. See, if you look over here, see how there's not much coming out now? But if you, this can always be fixed by simply turning it upside down. Now, this allows it to go straight out and you're good to go. Pro number two, you can hide it. You can, let's say I don't want to see this thing. Take it. I'll stick it back here. It's gone. Don't have to worry about it. Doesn't take up much space. And then the last con is I'm not the biggest fan of the Airstone. I mean, it has a lot of room to uh, disperse particles, but it only goes out the top. So that can always be solved by plugging into a sponge filter, which you won't need the Airstone anyway, or getting one for like, I don't know, 30, like 70 cents or however they cost. So that's nothing. That's, that's not even worth complaining about. So, in closing, I think this is an awesome product for people that are shipping fish, uh, not putting in the mail, but like going different places with your fish. It's great for beta bowls, small tanks, anyone that wants a nice little innovative product. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will have the price and a uh, quick summary in the description for you guys. Um, check it out, and I will see you guys in my next cobalt review. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later.